you show my phone will be safe here. Have a auntie. You see, ask around now. I don't think here now for four years they help people keep their personal belongings before they go inside embassy for their interview. Okay. <laughs> and it's so messed up. Like, why won't they let us take our phones in? Do you know, I'd already planned to take a very hot photo to upload on the gram. Eh, eh yeah, auntie no vex, so mm. they know they allow phone or any other gadget for inside embassy. <laughs> Just terrible. <laughs> eh, eh, so <laughs> how would you do it for me now? Can you do it for free? Ah, uh, ah, uh, auntie, you know, see, they don't even get free food for even free town safe. Or you bring 1,000 naira. Ah, uh -uh. sister, a whole 1,000. Sister, now wow, don't be so drunk for me now. I don't care. Sister, don't speak Forget all those things. You see, my economy, where they do you, now they hook me to one of us. They also I beg my give five more. Hey, auntie, no, I'm not bring her. I still like you. Correct, correct. Thank you, Ma. Okay. I like keep our well. No wala. Thank you, eh. No worry, go get the visa and Jesus name. Yeah, no. Yes, many money. Eh, hey, Rita, I beg. I want me help me buy food for Mama Junior side. We help me buy uh, rice, meat, and plantain. Maybe plantain plenty where we share here. Where the money? Maybe we just make five hundred naira now. You saw me now. We. You did dream. Wait to Jude. So because of say you be my cousin, and I like you come and say for this shop, not me say me and you don't become business partners. So, what's it be all that rubbish now? Nah? Rita, Rita, ah uh ah, -uh. that Jude they talk. Oh, calm down. Don't forget say blood thick past water. Oh. So how you come to concern me in blood thick past water now? Nah? Make I come say give you money I don't make now. Nah, nah. This early money make I give you money to go buy food. You shop wins. Oh no, wait till you the grace. yourself and be a good girl. Daddy, I always am. I bet you are. I'll see you later. Have a good day. And you too. I definitely... Given the visa? Uh, no, bros, that one for inside embassy, you go do one. So why charging that much just to keep my phone for a few minutes? 
Bro, I take go beg you. If you don't say no ready, make you move, make attention for that customer. I take go beg you. Ah, bro, good morning. Ah, Hello. you again? Good morning. Hi, good morning. <laughs> Please, can you help me keep my stuff here? Yes. Yeah, so. Oh, thank you very much. No worry. Today you you go get the visa in Jesus name. Amen. Mm. Thank you very much. No wala. <laughs> See on it. This one is the second year we don't apply for visa. This one. And anytime we come here, they can't keep in personal belongings. No long story. My sister. All fingers are not equal. This is my first time of applying for visa. And if I give you 1,000 Naira now, I won't have any money for my transport fare back home. Please help me. So now what you get? Let me give you 100 Naira, please. So tell me, why do you want to travel to the United States? My name is Chief Apuburi Emifili, early chief from Delta State. Can you answer the question, sir? That is what I'm trying to tell you, for you to know a bit background history of myself so you can understand. Answer the question, sir. Okay, thank you, my dear. Since I've been ordained as a chief, I've been dreaming of marrying a white woman. So that is why I want to go to America to go and look for my white woman sir your information here says you're married already yes for my dream to could come true that's why i want to go to america to marry a white woman as my second wife as a chief and bring her down to my palace in nigeria that's why i want to go to america are you serious sir quite serious my dear and i'm very grateful if you can give me to go to obodo we go to go and bring my white woman to bring down to my palace in nigeria here in Delta state You give me the visa to go to Obodo country, Obodo country? Of course I'm serious. Look, my visa appointment is in the next 20 minutes and I can't afford to be late. Bros, I know the beggar. How you go offer me 100 naira? For service will be 1,000 naira. That is what I have. Oh, you are carrying the phone and inside the bathroom. Now they don't go pursue you. Or better still give out to all these stuff to the work up and I'm going to keep out for you now. Nah. Abba, how can I give my phone to a task for safekeeping? The least what I do for you like this, so now 500 there. Okay, can I pay you after my interview? Eh? <laughs> nah. Rose, so that when they deny you visa, me and you want to talk long story, Abby? I reject it in just name. Amen. I will have you know that I'm well prepared for this interview, and I can assure you that I'm going to get the visa. Amen. Ah, bros, you go get the visa. You go pay the money or you go come out to make me. You they block customers for me now. job interview okay what company um I don't know yet you're going to apply for a job and you don't know the company name babe I saw the um, vacancy notice on my way home yesterday I didn't have the time to memorize it what position are you applying for? any position available that doesn't make any sense Michael babe. I'm running late, okay, and I don't want to be late. Want 
travel outside the country to further my football career. How old are you? I'm 18. Your passport says you're 35. Ah. Madam, if you tell me that I'm my real age, you won't know that. That one is my football age, you know how they go. I see. Don't you think you're a bit old for football? No, too old. If you say so, what about um, Mikel Obidem and uh, Mohamed Musa and Tai Tai with them? I'm not too old though, let me buy body now. Let me buy body, as I did like this, I still they fit. Very, very fit. I see. I'm sorry, I have to deny your visa applications. Uh, 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 Madam, why? Try again next time. Madam, please now, I'm sorry. Next person, please. Next, please. What kind of thing is this? How somebody go look me finish when they tell me say I'm too old to play football? All those people traveling abroad to play football, are they not older than I am? Mm -hmm. Bros, are they a lie? Atom, you know lie. Move to the next seat. No, I don't want to move. Let Madame move. Sir, we have a process. Just move. I have done a head count, and the way it is, I end up being interviewed by the female ambassador. I don't want to be interviewed by her. Don't choose who interviews you. We have due process here. Just move. Else, you will be treated as a security threat. Next, please. Good day, ma. When do you want to travel to the United States? Um, for shopping <coughs> and, and vacation. Which exactly? Shopping or vacation? But, I put my ear. See, shopping is like vacation to me. What do you do for a living? I'm a hustler. What kind of job is that? That's, I normally buy and sell stuff. What kind of stuff? Like everything, anything sellable. Just. Like Jack of all trades, you can call me a Jack of all trades. Are you married? No. My sister. Okay, let me just be honest with you. Part of the plan is that when I get there, I'll see one correct Oyibo Bobo or I'll put a ring on it. Okay, I see. Thank you. I'm sorry. Next, please. Ma, ma, I should go. Next, please. Ma, what of the money? No refund. Ma, please, sorry. What of a Malaysian visa? Traffic. Okay, but did you bring the stuff? No. What do you mean no? So what the heck are you doing here then? Hey, take a chill pill, man. You know the kind of pills I need and none of them have chill written on the bottle. What, you, what are you doing here? I got the complete package. Oh 
my gosh, this girl, you're so annoying. I almost got mad at you. You play too much, Jimmy. <laughs> What course did you study? I I read civil engineering and I would like to do my masters in the US. Who is a civil engineer? Uh, a civil engineer is a professionally trained mind that conceives, creates, designs, uh, builds, supervises, you know, and basically overlooks the building of infrastructure. What kind of infrastructure? Um, infrastructure, you know, like roads, bridges, dams, buildings, you know, that kind of stuff. In two weeks' time, you go to the collection center and pick up your passport. Really? Thank you. Next, please. traveling to. Anywhere you give me, I'll take it. Excuse me? Sir, my plan is to travel to Houston. But in case the Houston visa is not available, I'll be glad and grateful if you can give me any other visa to anywhere near that state. That's ridiculous. Sir, if you were in my shoes, you wouldn't say this. What's your purpose of traveling? My plan is to travel and work multiple jobs so I can send money back home to my family. So, I'm guessing you don't have plans of returning back to Nigeria. Come back for what now? Hmm. I appreciate your honesty. Thank you very much, sir. You see, I'm a faithful Muslim and it's really hard for me to lie. Good for you. But, I'm sorry. Your visa application has been denied. Sir, is there anything I can do to change your mind about this? Next, please. Sir. this visa process at all. No, how would they just reject somebody without even the pity to, 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 to refund my money back? My sister, I don't even know what I'm going home to tell them now. I borrow part of the money for this visa processing. I don't know how I'm going to explain to my family and friends that I was rejected. I have been applying for this very visa for the past two years. Two good years. And this is the fourth time I am being rejected. Ah! ah. My brother, you have family problem. I am beginning to think so. Maybe you should go for deliverance before you come and apply again. You guys are just wasting your time and money on visa application. No, but I know a guy who can take you people to Europe without visa, if you are interested. So, who is this person and what would it entail? Some cash and willpower. Joker. <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time with you. I can be funny. No, honestly, you want me to drink you, well, not me. <laughs> really? You're crazy. Because I know you're chasing me away. <laughs> oh, my days. Babe. Oh. I think I just had a car driving. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. You're high. For the first time, you're high <laughs> before me. Stop, I'm serious. Hearing things. <laughs> Sandra, what is going on here? So this is what you do when we are not home. Invite friends over and indulge in doing drugs. Cassandra, what were you thinking? Mom, it's not a big deal. I was just having some fun. Fun? You call this gross recklessness fun? Daddy, as usual, you're overreacting. Because really, all we did- What did you say? What do you mean? Get to your room and stay there. What is this? Huh? Huh? You didn't hear me or you want me to repeat myself? Just give me that. So you're planning on traveling out of the country without my knowledge? Babe, I was going to tell you. When? After you've left? Of course not. I, I wanted to get the visa first and then come surprise you with it. Surprise indeed. Five years of thick and thin and this is what you do to me? Babe, please calm down. I'm not leaving tomorrow or anything. I was denied the visa. I thought you loved me. Babe. I thought we're building something together. Of course we are. I, I just wanted, I was only trying to search for greener pastures so we can have a better life together. And you hid the process and plans away from me. 
babe. Come on, babe. Come on. Babe, come on. What, what are you doing? I am not a fool. Babe. I can read between the lines. Babe, it's, it's, it's not what you think, okay? I should have listened to my parents. They warned me about sticking with you for too long without you making any commitment. Babe, I wanted to impress you, okay? For once in my life, I wanted to make you proud. You've done so much for me and I am desperate to pay you back. Please. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. What are you doing? Hey, Mommy, what are you doing? I'm helping you to get rid of your distraction so you can have time for positive reflection. Okay, Mommy, that is a very bad idea, seriously. Do you have any idea how disappointed your father and I are in You're you? You're not just disappointed, you hate me. That's the only reason that I'm the only child in Nigeria when my brother and sisters are in London. That's because you're the only one acting like the black sheep in the family. Look at your academic performance. It's nothing to write home about. Exactly! How can I do well in school when I'm in a place that I don't like? A place that I cannot concentrate? Mommy, send me to London today and you will see how well I'll do in school. Cassandra, you are not going anywhere. You will remain here in Nigeria until you put your ass together. I suppose you were not able to convince her. She's asking we send her to London to go and be with her siblings. But well, that's not going to happen. That's exactly what I told her. Good. I'm thinking we should give it a little thought. She's beginning to think we love her brothers and sisters more than her. But she's making it difficult for me to express my love by acting like a loose cannon. Maybe she will find her self-esteem if we allow her to go and see her siblings. That's not an option, Florence. That's not an option. If she cannot take care of herself under our roof, what will be her fate in London? She could be more focused when she sees how upright her siblings are. I don't think. No way. There's no way I'll accept you leaving me alone in this country as good news. Babe, come on. You told me that your people are already complaining. You know, so I need to prove to them that I can marry you and take good care of you as soon as possible. I don't have a problem being with you without all the extravagance marriage rights. I know. But that would make me look like an irresponsible man before your people. And I don't want that. We don't want that, right? Mm -mm, I guess. So, what's your plans now that your visa application was denied? And when they move. I've contacted my guy in Germany. 
And he has given me the number of the person that helped him with the movement. Excellent. So, what's the cost? 500,000 for each person. 600,000 is a good price for a trip to Germany. I said 500,000 for each person. But my cut is important. What are these? Application letter, NEPA bill, water bill. In fact, my dear CVB too is inside. Everything you need to grant me visa. And I hope this time you will not deny me. $600,000 is a lot of money. Yes. Can't you guys help us reduce it? Really? Do you guys know how much flight ticket to Germany cost? Then add it to the visa that you didn't get. So, what's the mode of payment? Cash, of course. Or how do you mean? Like, are we to pay everything at once? Yes. No, no. No, no. Come on. That's not a fair deal. We should pay half before we leave and balance up when we get to our destination. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you guys? Did you guys pay half of the visa processing fee before the interview? Or did you negotiate with the airline to let you pay half of the flight tickets? Before takeoff, the imbalance when you land. So, when can I see this guy? Anytime you wish. Yes. Where did you go? What kind of stupid question is that? That's so but a girl about that smoke and all you cross that gate. Hey, it's me, Cassandra. Babe! 
thank God you're alive. You know, I thought your parents had killed you. <laughs> Girl, with the way they're maltreating me, I might as well be a dead person, I'm telling you. Wait, wait, what, what happened to your phone? I've been calling you. Yeah, now when they seized my phone, imagine me, me, they seized my phone. Ouch. And that's not even the worst part, though. They're not letting me step out of my own father's house. It's 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 man. It's like stopping me from moving out. Imagine that. So sorry, man. Why did you not pass? Wait, wait, who is that? Forget about that one dress. This is silly gate man I told you about. See girl, I I need you to help me arrange it. Wait, how do you even get it? Let him get man, I doubt you let me pass. Yeah, no, don't even worry yourself about that. Just get it first. And then when you're on your way, call this number. Tell me not to speak with him. Okay, okay. Please, like, you have to help me get this and, and can you can you make it quick? Can you hurry? Thanks. Thank you. Anybody come with you? Okay. okay, see, she's not going to enter the company. She's just going to drop some things and go back. That's all. Okay? So what do you mean that? Just school things like school assignments, stuff like that. Okay? Well, your school day only day now. Don't be why you day house. I'm here with your delivery. The full package. When have I ever delivered anything short? Where oh, yeah, now? Later. Aren't you forgetting something? For what? Duh, my money. And please add delivery fee. I'll pay you later. Sorry. No can do. You're paying me right now. Have I ever bought stuff on credit? No, but there's a first time for everything. Wow. You know, this is not a good way to treat a customer, Pamela. Well, you're right. And, well, I'm sorry if I sound inconsiderate. But, girl, I need this money. I need to relocate from this country next month. So I need every one cobble I can get. Oh, okay. So you've gotten your visa already? Forget visa. Uh. I tried. It didn't work. So I'm going through alternate means. What alternate means are you talking about? See, there is a ship leaving Nigeria to Germany next month. And I need 600,000 Naira to be in that ship. Babe, I have to be on that ship. What's wrong? 
Hmm? Something is bothering you. It's nothing, babe. No. You can't tell me it's nothing. Is it about the traveling plans? Yes. But you promise never to lie to me again. So tell me, what is it? The day I went for my visa interview, mm -hmm. I met a guy who told us about how to travel abroad without a visa. No, no. That sounds impossible. God is very sure about it. Okay, so how does he intend to make this work? By ship and through the desert. No, Michael. That's too dangerous. I know. But it's more dangerous for me not to make money as soon as possible so I can get you all the beautiful things of life. See, Michael, you know I love you, Uncle. Which is why you deserve all the fine things that money can buy. The trip is 600,000 naira. That is what I've been thinking about. How to raise the money. 600,000 naira. So, uh, did you bring the things I need for the school assignment? What? The things now that I need for the school project. Oh yeah, the complete package for the project. Nice, science project here. I'm so quick now. I know my mother got for you. Babe, look, you need to be extra careful because if your parents catch you this time, you know they'll kill you for you. Don't oh, worry right. about it. This is not all you good now. Oh, I got another one for me. Relax. <gasps> Alright, I'll see you. How are you, Paimo? I hope Cassandra did not leave this house like I instructed. No, ma. She does, I say. She don't come out. And her friends, none of them came to visit her. I thought, you are sure? Sure. Madam. Hello, baby. Hi, mom. Hmm. So tell me, how was your day? My day was good. It was good. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Are you stoned? What? Me stoned. You're lying, Cassandra. Look at you. You're wasted. What are you high on this time? <laughs> Listen, my uh, mommy. I I'm not high. I'm, I'm serious, okay? I'm not. But give me one minute. Just one minute. Cassandra. Oh. Cassandra.
your name? You're back. Yes. Um, Yusuf told me you just came back yourself. Ah, oh, yes. What's wrong with Cassandra? Why is she sleeping so early? I met her sleeping. I guess she's tired. <laughs> I didn't know I didn't ask her. We had someone out. I'd like to talk to her. Uh, no, I don't want you to disturb her. Maybe tomorrow. But I'd rather go to work very early tomorrow. When you come back from work then, please. Just allow her to sleep. Okay then. Okay. At the risk of sounding selfish, I don't think it's right for you to travel and leave me here. It's just for the meantime, Mamara. Doesn't it make sense if we stay apart for a few months so we can have a lifetime of comfort? But you can make it if you stayed back here in Nigeria. No, babe. No. I've exhausted all my options in this country. It's time to try a foreign land. I'm not comfortable with this option. I'm not. Good morning. Good morning. Mommy, sorry, did you by any chance enter my room last night or maybe even this morning when I was asleep? What exactly are you looking for? Um, nothing serious like that, just some personal stuff. You have to be more precise if you really want me to help. Mommy, it's simple. Did you enter my room or did you not enter my room, you know? Yes. And we had a brief conversation before you slept off. Yes, I, I know. <laughs> okay, but just remind me once. What did we talk about? Why you're so determined to self-destruct? What are you talking about? This is what I am talking about. Is this what you're looking for? Mommy, you had no right to enter my room and snoop through my things. I cannot believe you would invade my privacy like that. I kept this thing in my drawer. Many Shut was up! Shut up! You are not just a recreational user, you are an addict. I am an adult and it's high time you and daddy start treating me as one. Do you have any idea how mad your dad would have been 
If I had not covered for you yesterday, you wouldn't have to cover for me if you just let me go to London like I have been begging, like I have been asking. Ah! I was even trying to make him change his mind as regard to that. Now I see how stupid and reckless you have become. You know what? You're going to stay put in this country. Afana, Rita. Jude, I do. Why didn't they do that chick now? Why should they cry? They deny her visa. She don't they cry like that for over one hour. Eh? Since she come out from embassy. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Me don't try console her. Don't they tell her and say not be by force. To come off, you don't need to come off for this country before you make her. Hmm. They talk about like that. You don't know say some people don't tire for this country. Some people are frustrated, babe. Ah. Well. Me don't talk say anything for this life. No be do or die a fair. As we they talk that one, they go. Jude, some people come here call look for you today. From where? Some boys come here, they say that they look for one bro, so they help people, they do travel abroad by sea. They come mention your name. You give them my number. Jude, I hope so you know they try to scam people with this travel abroad by sea arrangement too. You can't talk with this one now. Uh-uh. <laughs> Jude. I see make I ask oh, because I no go there for police for hala oh. You dey hear me so? Yeah. I beg Shim Jo, let me talk to a damsel in distress. Jude! Hey. Hello! <coughs> Pretty lady. I can't help but notice you were crying from a distance. Mr. Man. I hope you're not trying to woo me. Because this is not the right time for that. And besides, I don't want to distress Petra. Actually, I have an alternative on how you can travel abroad without visa. Yeah, I know. It's just that I go high and I forgot to hide the thing. I know now, Jo, I know, and, and, and I'm sorry, but I need another package. Please, girl, this time I will so hide it that... No, but Jo, you know my situation now. You know. You know I can't access my funds. I don't have any cash. I'm totally penniless. See, I'm, I know. I understand. I understand. Listen, I'm standing but just tell her that. Tell her that I... Cassandra, Cassandra, me, you know, I said that I will pay her double. As soon as I have either my phone or my ATM card, I will pay her double. She doesn't have to worry about it, please. Yeah, but... You soup! You don't have any credit for this one. Go and get credit! If I open this gate for me, let me go! You don't have credit on the phone! Don't be you finish the credit. Big guy, open this gate. So I guess, man, open this gate. This is my father's house. Open this gate. Let me go out. No, oh, madam. That is very important. Open this thing. I need to go and get money. And for me to go get money, I need to go to the bank. I need to go to the bank and withdraw cash over the counter. So open this freaking gate. Capital, no. Madam, your mommy. That is my madam. Say, if I open this gate, you go outside. Walk, finish. This is my house! This is my house too! They can't be locking me inside like this! This is my house!
Don't move me. Don't move me. You go die here today. Let me tell you. Play this thing. You. I go kill you here today. Why are you hiding from me now? How are you? I'm fine. Is Nuru at home? No. Where did he go to? I don't know. I've been calling this guy for some days now and he's not picking my call. Um, maybe you should try checking on him tomorrow. Let it not be that this guy has traveled to Yankee. -o. Yankee? Yes. He borrowed some money from me to, to collect his passport and process his visa. Since then I'll be calling him to know how far he's not be picking my call. <coughs> Okay, um, probably you should check on him some other time. Or I will tell him that you came looking for him. Do you know me? No. Do you know my name? No. My name is David. Tell him I, David, came looking for him. You should not play a smart one on me. Oh. Okay, sir. You should not play a smart one on me. Oh. Yankee. No. Come. No. He has gone. He don't go. Ask me again. Who's in the guy? So you want to go to a board? Bro, I collected money from that guy and family members for that same purpose. And you don't tell me your guy! See, uh, the plan now for the visa to come out first before I tell you. Okay, so have you seen the visa now? No, no bro. Then deny me visa. Out. And I cannot tell all those people I borrowed money from that they deny me because I told them that it was an easy process. Certified visa. <laughs> Guy, your papa get embassy. <laughs> that was the only way they could loan me the money. Ah, you know how now. Anyway, my advice, the advice I have to give you, and I be saying, go and look for better stories to tell that David. Though, that guy can strangle you. Allah, that guy catch you. Don't be looking for bust story they tell me. Oh, the vex. Hmm. Don't be go borrow money for him. Who is that? Who is that? Coming. Who is Oh, hey, 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 what's up? Hey, what are you doing here? I thought you were grounded. Apparently, where there's a will, there's a way. Okay, why are you holding your arm like that? What happened? Just a minor accident I had when I was trying to scale the fence to get here. Scale the fence? You scaled the fence? Yeah, no thanks to you. But how is it my fault? What do you mean how is it your fault? When I called you to get a complete package, what were you saying? I had to think of a creative way to get out of the house now. Wow. Did you get the cash? Yeah, I stopped at the bank. Yeah, so call the girl. Tell her to start for me that I have the money to pay now. Babe, I think we need to get to the hospital. Forget this hand. Just call her and tell her. Would you have been... Would you call her and tell her to come that I have the money to pay? Hey, Ujo, what's up? I'm at X Lounge waiting for one of my paying customers. Of course, I have your fix. I always do. But you can only come and get it when you have my money to pay right away. Uh huh. Okay. Fred, please. All I need for this trip is just 600,000 naira. I will pay you back. I promise I will pay you back double once I get to Germany and settle down. See, my thing is I, I don't have that kind of money. Prof, Baba, this thing don't tire up. I will pay you back, please. Mike, you, you know my guy. You understand? If I have that kind of money, I mean, you don't have to ask me twice. And besides, you know, my hustle is in the streets. And right now, the streets is rough. Yeah, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Um, Mike. You see, 
see here. There's this deal me and my guys are planning in like two weeks' time. I could get you a spot if you're interested. What, what deal? Why do you want to travel to United States? I want to shame my village people. I beg your pardon. Madam, nobody in my family has traveled out of this country. Ordinary Ghana. Nobody has been there. So I decided I'm going to break that course. I see. So tell me, what do you intend to do when you get to United States? I will be snapping plenty of pictures, including videos, posting them on social media to let them know that they are fake. Okay. What do you do for a living? I say car parts. In fact, I'm the richest person in my family. That is the main point. So, your application has been denied. Chai! Try again next time. Thank you. Don't say my village people will follow me this year. <laughs> so I don't go to America again. Yeah, I don't go to America again. Now that you have your money, can we have our stuff? Chill. What do you mean chill? When you were insisting that we pay you first before you give us what we came for, you did not know, eh? Even though we've been your loyal customers for how long, can we have our stuff? Look, I'm sorry if you find that offensive, but how do I explain my situation to you here? Yeah, Chill right. Big. That, that you have to add money to your trip to Germany or what? Why are you saying that like you don't believe me? <laughs> Who goes to Germany by ship? Ship! Look, that you don't know about it doesn't mean it's a lie. Can we just have our stuff, please? Calm down, Jo. Ah. It's fine. Money is complete. Give me. Sorry, yo. I'm on a hustling fee. Hello, dear. Your daughter left this house despite my order. How? We told the gate man not to allow her go out. You so said she did not go out through the gate. Are you sure she's not in her room? Yes, I am.
Morning. I went out. Is that supposed to be an answer? Babe, I went out to look for money. We need a lot of it around here in case you haven't noticed. Okay, so how much did you get? <sighs> Fred was unable to help. Fred? Same internet fraudster Fred or another one? Yes, same guy. How can you go to someone like him for help? But babe, he's always turning up at every club and lavishing money. Money he made through illegal means. I mean, I wish he had some of it to loan me right now, but he's broke. Baby, you cannot go to someone like Fred for money. He's a bad boy and you know it. Amara, I need to get on that ship that is going to Germany. That is all that really matters to me right now. If I jump very high, I can touch the moon. <laughs> Babe, haven't I told you before that I sat on the moon? Yeah. <laughs> I remember. Do you think my parents will have come back home already by now? I hope not. Yeah. We should start going soon. No. <clears throat> we should start going now. Let's go, let's go. that thing okay because I know my limit thank you very much I know my limit I know my limit sorry everybody sorry my my friend is my friend is a little bit <laughs> Sorry everybody! Baby, 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 I've been losing Hi control. everybody! Bye everybody! Keep quiet! Thank you, Mary. Please don't hesitate to tell me the moment you hear anything. Bye. That was her roommate back then in school. She hasn't heard from her in weeks. What about the one I caught her smoking with the other time? Would you? That's the one you should call. I don't have her number. Okay, let's go to her house. Where's I don't have her address either. How come you don't know such basic information about your daughter's friend? I can ask you the same question. Oh, no! She's your daughter too, sister. Oh, I agree. But as a girl, it is your moral obligation to know more about her than I know. It is common sense. 
Jesus. But now, she don't come back. Now nah, her friend will do carry and come. Cassandra, where are you coming from? Me? Okay. Where am I coming from? Okay. So, because of how I'm just tired of the way people are locking me in the house, as if I'm one bird in a cage, I went to see my friend. Thank you. What happened to your arm? This hand, not me. <laughs> it was painful. I actually had an injury when I was trying to scale the fence. But don't worry, daddy. It was worth it. <laughs> You've been smoking weed again. Me? Smoking weed? God. Don't lie to me, young woman! Daddy, don't shout. Oh, that's in my head. Hi. Good evening, daddy. Um, I want to go to my room and sleep. I'm very tired, so. So I'm going to my room. Good night. First thing tomorrow morning, we are checking her into rehabilitation. I'm just watching you sleep. That's creepy. Why are you not sleeping? I'm thinking about an offer Fred made me when I went to see him earlier. What offer was that? He said I'll be able to get the money I need and more if I join them to carry out an operation. I don't like the sound of that. I don't either. But it seems like the only way I can get the money I need. Okay, so what exactly is this saying you should do? Kidnapping. <laughs> She's just a child. A very stupid child. She needs her love now more than ever. I agree. And that is why I'm saying we should put her in a rehabilitation home to get over this addiction. Okay, can we send her to a rehabilitation home abroad? No, no. There are good ones around here where she can get the necessary care. It hasn't gotten to that. This is just a phase of her life. Of all our children, why is she the only one going through this useless phase? I'm just saying we both need to agree to this first. And I strongly believe it's too soon to jump to the last option just yet. We now know the gate and the gate man are no longer enough to hold her in this house. Are we going to build the fence to touch the sky? I will ensure she doesn't do that again. How do you intend to achieve that? Let me guess. 
you're here to preach the sermon of the good mother telling her daughter how to be a good girl, right? Are you being foolish on purpose? Why can't you and daddy understand? I don't want to be here. Being wayward and acting like a ghetto grade will not make your father change his mind. Well, both of you need to stop treating me like a child because I am not a child. Listen, let me tell you. The only chance of you to travel abroad is if you behave yourself and promise us not to become a collusion disgrace when you travel out of the choice of this country. Mommy, can I please have my ATM card and phone? Please. There yeah, with your father. Why? You're the one that took them from me. He doesn't trust me not to give them back to you sooner than I should. Cassandra, I need you to give me just phone number and house address. What for? She's your closest friend. And? I should be able to reach her when we don't know where you are. <laughs> yeah, not necessary. Your father called me responsible because I don't have those details. I don't want that to happen again. I'm outside your house, Uju. Don't keep me waiting. Go up and tell your parents what you've been indulging in with my daughter. No, ma. No. Get it. Are your parents aware that you are an addict of substance abuse? No, ma. Is it that they are not observant or you're very careful? I guess both, ma. Now listen and listen very good. I don't care what you want to do with your life. I have plans for my daughter. And you have been making it very difficult for me. You're nothing but a bad influence on my daughter. Ma, that's not Shut up! You don't cut me when I'm speaking. I'm sorry, Ma. I don't ever want to see you with my daughter again. Don't ever place a call to her. 
block her in all your social media accounts. When you see her on the street, don't say a word. Any day I see you at my daughter, I will get you arrested, lock you up, and get your parents involved. Do I make myself clear? Crystal Clemmer. Good, good, good. I've been trying to reach you all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, 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 my phone is bad, sorry. Oh. Okay. Um, I've not heard from you as regards what we discussed. Uh, what was that again? <laughs> Wait, uh... are you serious? Oh, the kidnap plan. Dude, should I give you a microphone so you announce it for everyone to hear? Come on, man. I'm just trying to make sure we're on the same page. Jeez. We're talking about the same thing. Well, um, anyways, I, I spoke to the guys and they have agreed to allow you to join the team. That, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, and then get this. The money we're expecting is much more than that. I mean, your court alone is two million. Minimum. <laughs> Whoa. Of course, bro. Yeah, man. That is more than enough. I know, I know, I know. So, um, the question now is, are you in or are you out? Hey, babe. Yeah, what's up now? What are you doing here, Fred? I beg your pardon? What is he doing here? He's my friend. I thought we talked about this. Excuse us, Amara. Now! <laughs> what was that all about? I'm, I'm sorry, man. Just ignore her. No, no. Why would a woman come here and disrespect me like that? I told her about the plan and she's not happy about it. You did what? She's my girlfriend, bro. We uh, tell each other everything. Dude, who else did you tell? No one. Just her. You know, I really thought you loved that girl. Of course I love nah, her. Nah, 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 bro. Nah, nah. No, you don't. You see, you never, ever, ever tell a woman about your hustle. What you do is that you go out there and you make the money by all means and you put a smile on her face by spending it on her. That is what true love is. But you know what, it, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I'll just tell the team that you're no longer part of us.
Yusuf! Yusuf! Come on up! Come! What's help me? Help me push the door from outside. It's stuck. I think it jammed. So push it from outside. Oh, no, no, no. It's not stuck. Uh, now, I got lucky, he said. Wait, you wait. Are you serious? I feel like they play. No, I got lucky, though. He said, Becca, he said, everything you need. They say, eh, what are food up in our every day? So if you're hungry, eh, you go kitchen, carry food, chop. If you're not chop, finish. Eh, if you want TV, watch TV. Why you watch TV, finish. Eh, carry book, read. If the book right at your head, you see that, think about your life. If you don't think small, sleep, go call. Why you sleep, wake up. You repeat the process. Very simple. Wait, wait, Yusuf, are you saying that I'm under house arrest right now? My dad, my dad locks me in the house. Oh. You're under house massage. <laughs> Why you they fly first up or that? You don't know. They found Superman. Wakanda. <laughs> Wakanda yourself inside. You should yeah. do better. And they go work. Talk to me with some yes. risk. Amara, you have no right to disrespect my friend like that. You cannot be friends with a guy like that. Oh, so now you decide who I can be friends with? Well, show me your friend and I'll tell you who you are. I told you that I was handling the issue. You should have let me handle it. You didn't look like you were handling it. The fact that you know about his plans to kidnap someone already makes you an accomplice. Oh my goodness, do you want to read? Please, don't disrespect my friends. It makes me look like a weak man and I don't like that. Please. Boom! Boom! Half a minute. Why are you avoiding me? Me? Avoid you? I decrease? Yes. You decrease? If not, why, why, why do you keep running from me since I give you that money to, to process your, 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 your traveling document? Why? Devo, see eh? What I don't pass Gary. What is water and what is Gary? Who is water and who is Gary? You must pay me my money right here now! See? Pay me my money! David, as I did like this, eh, I did find money for flight tickets. You did find money for flight tickets? Like, yes. say, you don't get visa. You, did they give you visa? Did they? <laughs> See, I don't get visa. Yes, then give me visa. You don't get visa. Yes. Devo. You don't get visa. I get visa. Are you sure? <laughs> what are you saying? Are you sure you get visa? I get visa to go abroad, guy. Oh my, you know, you know, Santi say you don't waste that money on top of this, your chingom girlfriend now. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Right now, right now, I define 600,000 naira to book flights and to process employment papers with that side. So, you are even processing for a job over there? Remember that my guy, eh? We try without that. Yes. He's helping me get a bank job. On Mossy Level! Hey, Yankee no. Bank! Oh, you, you, you. Hey, you know. Oh, you don't yes. blow! I don't blow! Ah, Yankee hmm. Bank! See, eh? but that's not the problem. The problem right now is that I need 600,000 naira. Okay, you need 600,000 yes. naira. Huh? You know, say, you know what you go up? Mm -hmm. You know, my guy. If you enter for you, don't enter for me. If it be for you, don't be for no me. Ma, no ma, no ma. Sure, so, sure, 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 sure. I'll try and help you ride it around. And see if I can raise something for you. Devo, you will do that one for me. Yes, now. But <laughs> not be free, oh. Not be for dash. See, make I tell you, help. That money you pay me with interest when you get to your Devo, I'll go double the money. You Trust sure? me. I'll go triple the money. With interest, oh. Sure. Shut ah. Devo. I did for you. Ah, I got something. Which kind of dressing be this one again? This one abroad dressing now. I know you have never traveled outside before. You unko, no only your village you don't travel go before. Wasi, let me tell you something. Okay. I'm traveling to Germany next month, which is why I brought my car for you to help me get a buyer for it. Ah, I got something. So you want travel go Germany like that? See, I am selling all my things so that I can raise money for this journey. Okay. Ah. We'll go see the car. See machine. Oh, 
Okay. So, how much you want to sell this your car? Give me two million for waiting. So, I got something. I get work. What's you? There's no need to get angry. Now, market, now, price, you go price down. And you never talk amount to a fee price now. Nah. Ah. Okay, give me 1.5 million. I go, I can't come up for you. I got something. What's you? No, look, this motor body. Oh. The engine are correct. Oh. See, even if now nah, I go play engine, they inside. Nobody go buy them for that amount where they cost. See, Anna. Uh, okay, how much you want to pay? Uh, I will give you 280. I don't hear you. I say I will pay you 280,000. And at three times, I will give you the money. What? So you know, so you be thief. Me thief. You just there, yeah, they waste your time for mechanic job. You be thief. Now go and go carry last last. Can I don't blame you. Now, me, what carry what they're going to give you, make you help me, make, make, make you help me say. Carry your bag. Foolish human being. Me. Foolish man. Enter your car, go. The car no good start. What's it all? I beg you, if you hit me, touch the wire. If you like say don't come out again. Battery. Uh. <laughs> Battery. <laughs> What's you? Why you didn't leave me come out now? Welcome, sir. Hey, uh, Yusuf, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Hope Cassandra did not jump through the window today. Uh, no, I said she disappeared. She did inside. Good. Um, give me the keys I give to you in case of eventualities. Oh, okay. Thank you, Yusuf. Hello, daughter. Daddy. Why are you treating me like an animal? Because you're acting like one of late. I don't want to be in this house anymore. I don't want to be here. Meaning you have a space of your own and you want to move out. I just want the break to be over so I can go back to school. You may have to forfeit that too. Unless you start acting like somebody who has brains in that thick skull of yours. So, so you, you want to lock me up in this house forever? Do you know that's what it takes for you to realize the world is not just one big party? No, no, no. You must add one million more on top of Chupaito already. Great. Why? No. We already agreed. Why are you adding one million? No, listen. I have to close my people's eyes, you know. There are too many people involved. You have to top one million more. Please, Greg. Oh, God. Why, why are you doing this to me, Greg? Why are you doing this to me, Greg? I don't know how to go and explain to these guys now. Okay, fine. Greg, fine. fine. Greg, see. Please. No, no. I'm, no see, no. come, come on. See, Greg, okay. Okay, okay, see. I'm bringing girls. Okay. <laughs> Ladies, you know you like girls. Uh, who doesn't? <laughs> Let's do this. I'm gonna bring girls an extra 500 k Sweet girls. Sweet girls. Okay. Hey, Greg! <laughs> I knew. I knew you were gonna do that. See, you almost got me there, you know. You got me there. I was wondering how I was gonna raise money. Thank 
Okay guys, I call this meeting because I want to update you guys on how things are going. I had a, I had a meeting with a contact guy yesterday and he confirmed that things are going well. All he needs is a list of certified travelers in two weeks. Two weeks? That's too soon now. I thought you said next month before. Calm down. And I'm not saying that we're traveling in two weeks' time. What I'm saying is that we should create a WhatsApp group so we can communicate faster. And I only want serious-minded travelers on that group. Well, I'm fully in. I'm doing all I can to raise the money for this trip. Same here. I have even put up my car for sale in case anybody has somebody that wants to buy a car. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'll get my cash very, very soon. Well, that's it. So I'll create the WhatsApp group and I will add everyone to that group today. Okay. okay. Are we good? Mommy's home. So you and Daddy decided to treat me like an animal today, right? Why don't you just put a leash around my neck? What are you talking about? Mommy, I was locked up in this house the whole day. I couldn't even step into the compound to get fresh air. Nothing. Your dad locked you up in the house the whole day? Oh my goodness. Mommy, please don't even pretend like you don't know. Don't pretend. I don't. He even said I may not be going back to school. Mommy, what is wrong with your husband? Did you lock our daughter in the house all day? It was the only way to make her understand what being grounded means. How could you do that? What if there was an emergency? Hey, I'm not stupid. I left a spare key with you, Sue, in case they had issues. We don't have to treat her like that. It could make her get worse. I told you she needs tough love. Can you run this your tough love plans with me first before implementing them? So you can change my mind from them? So we can discuss and make sure it won't do more harm than good. Just so you know, I have contacted the rehabilitation center in Abuja. And I told you that is not necessary. I hope so. Because if I catch her smoking cigarette or doing any of those drugs or as little as drinking cough mixture, I'll check her into a home without your permission. I'm sorry you feel disrespected. I know you're trying to protect me, but it is my job to protect you, not the other way around. But I won't be happy if I fold my arms and allow Fred get you into trouble. He's not going to make me do what I don't want to do. So, can I make you do what you shouldn't do? Fred was right. I shouldn't have told you about the other. No, operation. don't mind him. Everything will be fine. Stop pushing yourself too hard. Okay? I couldn't really sleep much. Um, I was awake for the most part of it. Why? 
why? I was awake because I was thinking about a lot of things. Especially about... Especially about how... How the way I've chosen to live my life has really made you sad and daddy too. And I just really wanted to say that I am so sorry. Honestly, I am sorry. And henceforth, I know it may not be easy, but I promise you, Daddy. I promise, Mommy, I promise I will try my best to turn a new leaf. I promise. It's okay, darling. I'm glad you're back to your senses. I'll be in my room. You're not saying anything. What's there to say? Come on. She just apologized and promised to be of good behavior. Isn't that what we'll be praying for? I'm wondering what happened to her that caused this sudden change of heart. Unlike you, I've been praying and talking to her. And I'm glad it paid off. Please do early to start rejoicing. We punish her when she misbehaves. We should reward her when she does the right thing. We will reward her when she does the right thing. Actions they say speak louder than words. Sweetheart, at least give her back her phone. Fine. Fine. My way are your way now the same, but I must want to escape the Hello? Who is this? Why are you asking who this is? Cassandra? Is that you? Wait, is it that you don't have my number again or what? I deleted it. Again, why would you do that? Ask your mom. You know she came to my house the other day and threatened to have me arrested if I spoke to you ever again. Wait, my mom did what? And she was really serious. <laughs> Wait, no, no, would you listen? She, she didn't mean any of that. Eh? I, I, I need you to do something for me. <laughs> the answer is no, trust me. I do not have any plans of going to jail. I am very young. She was only saying those things because she was mad at me that time. But I've apologized to her now. Everybody's all good. Well, I actually wondered how you got your phone back though. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I, I need you to send me that Pamela girl's contact phone number. The supplier? Yes, ha. Look, Cassie, you really need to stay off that stop. Your problem is you do not even know when to stop. No. Would you listen? What I need from her is way more important than weed and stuff like that, okay? <laughs> really? So what is more important than that? I will gist you later. For now, can you just send me her phone number? Alright, thank you. And quickly, please, huh? Thanks, bye. Girls we green on the other side, we get yeah, slowly but surely, yeah. Slow but surely, slow but surely, slow but surely, we must do escape. I'm just in Hey, hi. Um, please, is this Pamela? Yeah, this is Cassandra, Uju's friend. We met the other day, remember? <laughs> yeah, I, I really miss those stuff, but why I'm calling you is a bit more important. Okay, so the other day, I remember you said something about traveling to Germany by sea very soon. Yeah, I'd like to know more about the plan. Because I'm interested. Look, let's meet and talk, okay? If you include me in the plan, I just might be able to raise the money for the trip for me and for you. I'm just in a hurry. Make it for no judge me. The rate at which people are leaving this country is alarming. I 
just wish I could tell most of them the harsh truth. I don't see anything wrong. You're, you only are traveling for the genuine reasons. They're living in search of greener pasture. If only they know that the grass is not green on the other side. I think it's time government makes a conscious effort to orientate the people on the reason why they should stay back home. My dear, I don't think the citizen will appreciate orientation program. Instead, they should create job opportunities and a working system through reasonable policy. You're right there. You're right there. What? <laughs> so you want to get out of the country too? Mm-hmm. But you need to convince me that this whole traveling by ship business to Germany is genuine. And I will raise the money. And you said you pay for me too. Easily. That will be 1.2 million naira. Fine. Consider it done. <laughs> okay. But wait. Am I, am I going to need my international passports for this arrangement? Nah, you're not going to need that. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, go. I have an international passport, obviously. It's just that it's with my parents right now and I don't want to ask them for it, so... If I may ask, why don't you just travel abroad through the normal process like normal people? So does that mean you're not a normal person or what? I mean, I'm just saying, if I had parents like yours, I wouldn't embark on such a journey by ship. Even if they regard you as the black sheep of the family? And they want to just send you away like that to a rehabilitation home only because you're different. So how soon can you raise the money? <clears throat> Very soon. But like I said, me raising this money has to mean that I am leaving this country. Don't worry. I'll talk to the guy in charge and I'll get back to you. Okay? Cool. Meanwhile, I have... Nice. Oh. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Total package. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, 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 thanks. Nah, you don't have to pay for this one. What? It's on the house. Now you know the real meaning of customer appreciation. <laughs> Are you joking? You're about to fulfill my dreams and take me out of this country. Trust me, that makes you more than just a customer. Are you sure you really want to do this, Cassandra? Yeah. It's better than staying here and getting sent to one rehabilitation home. Well, that won't happen if you just stopped getting high. Whoa, stop. You sound like my mom right now. That's scary. Don't do that. Cassandra, going to Germany by ship? That sounds like a daredevil idea. I know. I know, but I can only pretend for so long that I'm not itching even right now to get high. And if I do, I will get caught. And if I get caught, I will get sent to the rehabilitation home and... That cannot happen, so stop. The other side will get here slowly but surely, yeah. Slow but surely, slow but surely, slow but surely. We must do escape. I'm just in the hurry. Make it for no judge me. Oh. We must do escape. Oh. Slow but surely, slow but surely. I'm just in the hurry. Make it for no judge me. Oh. Slow but surely. Hey.
Good morning, young lady. Good morning, daddy. Uh, if I can say clearly, I, I, I just want to ask, what are you doing? I'm making breakfast. That has not happened here in a very long time. I know. And you're welcome. You all right? I don't know. Babe, you don't know if you're all right? Hmm? I feel... I feel pregnant. Lamar. What? Um... Four days late, and I'm having pregnancy symptoms. <laughs> what do you mean you're having pregnancy symptoms? Have you ever been pregnant? No, but I'm not a child now. Which is why you should know that getting pregnant is a huge mistake right now. Why are you angry? But what, where am I supposed to fit in you getting pregnant into my travel plans? Well, maybe this is a good reason why you have to stay here and hustle in your country. No, Amara! What do you mean, no? This is a huge responsibility, and you know that I cannot afford it. Well, I didn't plan for this to happen either. Okay, Amara, now that we've both agreed that this is a huge mistake, here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to the hospital, conduct a proper pregnancy test, and if it comes out positive, you're going to tell them to help you get rid of that stuff properly. <laughs> Slow but surely, slow but surely, slow but surely. We must do escape. I'm just in the hurry. Make it for no judge me. We must do this is a story all about how my life got twisted upside down. And I'd like to take a moment and just sit right there and tell you how I became friends of a town called Bel Air. Your home, saw you later. Look at my kingdom, I was finally there. Sit on my phone, not a king of Bel Air. <laughs> Mommy, what are you staring at? You have no idea how happy I am seeing you do this. Well, don't get too comfortable. You still need to get a house help to replace the one you fired months ago. I'm taking my time, my dear. Considering how badly the last one performed after getting her from a reputable agency. I know, Mommy, but you still need to get someone. I may be going back to school anytime soon, you know. Until then, make yourself useful around here. Okay. Okay. What do you mean it's not possible, Kingsley? You see, the captain of the ship has his own candidates, so there are no more slots. That can be true. Okay. Uh, are you not the one in charge? You can't tell me everyone has made payment. Well. Not yet. Fine. Then you can just simply exclude one name from the list and make space for my friend, please. Friend? I don't like the fact that you guys are making this a public knowledge. It's supposed to be a secret mission. I know. Look, I promise. I promise I won't tell anyone again if you just make space for my friend, please. What? What are you trying to do? Right from the first day I met you, I loved you. I don't know why you didn't notice. Look, if you like me, then prove it. Just make one space for my friend. Give me a reason. Make me happy. Look, I've saved up 250,000 Naira. I can give it to you. Aside the 1.2 million Naira, I will pay for the trip. Shut up. That's not what I want, you know. 
What are you asking me to do? Take off your top. Never going to happen. <laughs> I'm just in the hurry, make it for no job be oh We must do a step slow but surely slow but surely I'm just in the hurry make it for no job be oh Well sorry I was trying to get off my Just in the hurry, make it for no judge me, oh yeah. Slow but surely. Hey. 